Hi everyone, this is Gail Vihar from MomandCamera.com and I'm here to give you a bonus tutorial for Pretty Presets. After I did the last tutorial about how to create a watermark in Lightroom, I talked about PNG files quite a bit and I wanted to show you how I um, create my PNG files um, and kind of what a PNG file is. So I'm going to try to do this really quick and not take too long to do it. Um, I've just got a regular PSD file here um, with many layers. This is what a PSD would look like. And I kind of had to create this because I've been using PNGs for quite a while. They have some great qualities that I discovered. Anyway, um, and we have a background layer. And most PNGs, just by default Photoshop files, have this background layer. And it's what's keeping our file from being transparent. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click on my background and I'm going to get this little window that opens up and says layer zero. Um, that's what I want. I want to turn this into a regular layer and then I'm just going to go ahead and delete that layer now. Before I couldn't have just done that with a background layer. You can't just delete a background layer. So now I still have multiple layers here, but you'll notice that this background has turned to this checkerboard and that means it's see-through that anywhere I put this, I wouldn't be able to see this, that it's, it's transparent. So then I'm going to select all my layers by shift clicking and I'm going to click on, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I right clicked on the wrong layer. I can't right click on a text layer. I'm gonna click on merge layers and it's going to merge them into one. Now um, you could just take this file and use this now in Lightroom as your watermark file and it would work just fine. I told you that I liked to change mine to white um, and that's a little bit of an extra step here. So I am going to press down control with my little finger hand over this layer and click and it's going to do what is called loading my selection. So you can see that everything I had selected here, um, or that I have here that's see, seeable, that's not on the transparent, that's non-transparent, let's just put it that way, um, it has selected. So this isn't going to work really perfectly for this. I would have to do a little bit more work for this, but I'm just, this is just a quick and dirty show you how I would do this. So um, now I'm just going to, I have white over here as one of my options. Just switch it to the front and then I'm going to hit Alt Backspace. And that's going to change everything that I have there to be white and I'm going to control click Control D to deselect it and now you'll see that I have my logo entirely in white. I would have to do a little bit more selecting probably to make this perfect um, but that's just a really quick and easy way that you can take your logo and and make it transparent and white like I showed you how I did. The last thing you're going to do is click on File and then I'm just going to click Save As. And then I would give it a name. Um, Mom and Camera White Watermark. I don't know. Just make something up there. And then in your drop down menu, you're going to look for the PNG. And I don't use this a ton, so I'm going to have to find it. It's closer down here to the bottom you see it says PNG. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to click Save. And it's going to retain that transparency in the background. If I had just saved this as a JPEG, automatically whether I had this transparent or not, it would have turned all that transparent white. And then I would have just had this plain white rectangle here, which does me no good. So the PNG you have to have in order to have it remain transparent and be able to overlay on top of things. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for staying with me. This took a little bit longer than I thought, and we'll talk to you later.